Hi, it's Marshall. Today we're going to talk about deep cycle batteries and how to how to measure them. First thing you want to do is make sure they're charged up to get an accurate measurement. And then with your battery tester, uh, you'll measure the density of the water. It's, you know, it goes from 1.0, which is essentially water density, on up to, to higher values. The higher values are better. Um, getting your battery tester this style, they're getting harder to find because there there's so many sealed car batteries. I found this at Napa for about 10 bucks. Once you get a hold of one of these, hang on to it and take care of it. Uh, once you're done getting the, the fluid out like this, <coughs> the electrolyte, you'll see that the little meter, the little line comes up, and this is about 1.25 specific gravity. It says recharge. Well, it's fully charged. This is a battery that I've retired, okay? Um, and the reason I've retired it is this cell. This cell is a completely dead cell. It's 1.0. So I have 2 volts, 4 volts, 0 volts. So my 6 volt battery is really 4 volts. Doesn't work at all as far as uh, my 12 volt system that I'm going to need. Proper care of these is really important. You want to rinse it out in some fresh water, shake it upside down, uh, and rinse it out two times. That way you get all the acid out of there. Otherwise, six months later, you have uh, it, it, the rubber cracks around here, and then you'll have to go on the hunt again for another one. So this is the easy way to measure your deep cycle battery, and it's important to keep, it, keep them healthy and keep your investment well cared for. Thank you.